Water hyacinth continues to choke Lake Victoria, Africa's largest freshwater lake. About 30 million people rely on this source of water for their basic sustenance. The invasive plant species is affecting the livelihood of many people living around the lake. But some farmers are turning the problem into a valuable resource. Hyacinth in the lake, to the, to the fishermen, it is a bad omen. To us, it is a blessing in, in these guys. The lake men are in bad condition because they cannot go and fish in the lake right by, by them. But uh, we also help them because while removing it, they, fi they find a space to work on. Now they can go to the, uh, to the lake and fish. Charles Oyango and the farmers are harvesting their green gold. They produce compost from freshwater hyacinth, soil and ash. In nine weeks, this will be a high-quality fertilizer. There is three nutrients needed in the soils, and the hyacinths provide all of them. That is nitrogen, potassium, and the phosphorus. And those are the key, key manures needed in the soil. So that's why we took the hyacinths from the lake to go and make the compost. Charles Oyango gave up fishing to become a full-time farmer. His success is also due to Alex Omino, the conservationist taught Charles and other farmers how to produce the hyacinth fertilizer. The organic manure, the water hyacinth manure, is soil friendly. It is friendly to the living microorganisms. They don't kill any microorganism. And it is the microorganism that will always decompose and aerate the soil to make sure there is good growth of the plants. When water hyacinth decomposes under the water's surface, it allows poisonous gases to accumulate and deprives the water of oxygen. That kills the fish, and it has a harmful effect on water quality. The water becomes unsafe for human consumption. Margaret Odala also heard about the new fertilizer made from water hyacinths. She decided to give it a try and found that her harvest doubled. It has changed my fertility in the soil, my soil. By the time I started digging my little home I have, the crops were not healthy. But now by using manure, the crops look healthy and fresh. And uh, the results, all the income I get is different from the first time I started digging. Her customers come to her farm and buy vegetables from her directly because they know her products are fresh and healthy. Margaret Odala doesn't use chemical fertilizers on her crops. The hyacinth based fertilizer isn't just organic, it also retains water much better than ordinary chemical ones. The chemical manure has a scorching effect. If there is no rain, then you see the plants start to wither. But when you compare with the, the organic, you will see even if the rain delays, they will like to prolong their life. So far, 45 farmers are using the hyacinth fertilizer. Alex Omino hopes to soon convince all 1,000 farmers in the region to switch to the organic manure.